Good morning gorgeous people, it's Kate here and today I'm on the Spellbinders blog as a special guest. And I'd like to talk a little bit about Jane Davenport and Spellbinders colour stick range. These are amazing products and I can't wait to show you something that you can do with them that's so simple that anyone could do it. So today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute card with the colour sticks from Jane Davenport. Now there's two different sets of colour sticks. There's one called Soul Window, which is beautiful bright colours, and another called Silky Skin, which as the name suggests is beautiful skin tones. And both of these are gorgeous, but it's kind of difficult to tell exactly what colour it is from the packaging in spite of how amazing it is because they perform differently on different coloured papers. So the best thing that you can do is start by making some colour swatches and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So swatch out all of those beautiful colour sticks on the colour chart provided in the packet. So once you've got all of those beautiful colours swatched out, it's time to make your card. Start by cutting a piece of cardstock to size and sticking it down onto a flat surface. I'm just using my craft table. Now, no skill required here. Just scribble some of the beautiful colour stick colours in a gorgeous rainbow onto your background and activate the colours with water. Now I've just scribbled them in sort of a rough H pattern, making sure to overlap some of the colours. Now it looks like a little bit of a mess at this stage, but don't worry, this is not how it finishes. You just want some beautiful colour on the background before adding a little bit of gesso. Now blend the gesso with a dry brush into those gorgeous activated colour stick colours and this will create the most beautiful pastel shaded rainbow. It truly is gorgeous and once it's dry you'll notice that the gesso has absorbed a little bit more of the colour than is seen on camera just here while it's wet and you get the most pretty background and it's beautiful for all sorts of things. Now you could use this on an art journal, a card like I am, a scrapbook page, pretty much anything. Now leave this to dry and once it's completely dry it's time to add a little bit of stamping. So I've chosen some of the gorgeous girl stamps from Jane's stamp range and I'm going to use the cave black ink to stamp these onto the background. Now you'll notice that I'm not stamping them exactly on the edges, I'm actually stamping them off the card and that's because I'm going to cut these out and use them on a larger card panel when we're finished. Now while you're doing some stamping, on a piece of scrap paper stamp a duplicate of the images and cut these out. We're going to use these to mask off the images while we make the rest of the card. Cut out the masks and the dresses from the coloured piece of paper that you've stamped on and we're ready to start making the rest of the card. Grab some beautiful squid ink in colours that match the dresses and use that to create the background for the card. Now before I start my background I'm just going to add a little bit of doodling to the dresses. I'm using a Copic multi-liner just to make them a bit more my own. Add random designs and patterns until you're happy with how they look. Cut the front of the card to size and using the same cave black squid ink, stamp your Jane Girl stamps onto the card. You can use the masks to get the positioning right. Once the girls are on there, stamp the Good Vibes Tribe stamp in the top corner. And then using the paper masks that we've cut earlier, cover up the stamped images and then use some beautiful squid inks in mermaid eyes, sea anemone, scallop shell and sun kissed on a stamp to just add some colour to the background. Now I've made sure that each time I stamp the actual stamp is covered with two to three different colours of ink just to make things look a little bit more fluid. Now I'm just going to use a watercolour pencil, in this case a beautiful violet colour, to add a little bit of colour around the images. This just makes the background card not quite so white, it makes it a little bit more interesting and adds a bit of depth. Now once I've got the base of colour on I'm going to add a beautiful purple colour stick colour um, just to enhance and give a bit of shading and shadow um, and it is so easy to do. These just melt into the background. Now while this shading around the images is drying I'm going to use my colour sticks to darken some of those stamped images just to make them really pop off the background and all I'm doing is using a water brush and touching the tip of the colour stick to pick up some colour and then colouring over my stamped little spots there. 
Now it's time to add a very, very pale amount of colour stick to give the girls a little bit of skin tone. And I've just used the leftovers from the brush. Using a glue pen, it's time to stick the little dresses onto all of the images. And this starts to really bring the card together. It is looking super cute at this point. Trim any of the bits of the dresses that are hanging off over the edge of the card and put a little bit of paint in a fine liner bottle. Use this to outline the Good Vibes tribe. This will give a little bit of texture and a little bit of oomph to the saying that's in the top corner. Add a little bit of doodling to the background using a white Sharpie paint pen and find some matching cardstock so that you can build a beautiful background for your card. Edge the card using Cave Black and use Jane's beautiful black lace or hot vinyl. Using Jane's black lace or hot vinyl ultimate pen, just enhance any of the black stamping or text to make it really pop. Then go over any of the finer lines with a carbon pen just to add a bit more detail. Using the gorgeous colour sticks again, just add a tiny little bit of colour to each of the girl's hair, just so that it doesn't look sort of out of place on the card. I'm only going to use two colours, just to give a little bit of variety into the hair. Add a little bit of the glue pen around the Good Vibes Tribe word, and then add a little bit of foil on top of that, just for a little metallic shimmer. You all know I love my sparkle and shine. Put the card together using some double-sided tape and you're finished. I hope you have enjoyed this beautiful, simple card using Jane Davenport and Spellbinder products, showing off the color stick range because really they are super gorgeous. The colors are anywhere from vibrant to pastel, depending on how you use them. And there are so many different things you can do with these. Um, between this video and my previous one, I'm just showing you two. There are so many more. Now up close, you can see that this is beautiful and delicate while still being a gorgeous rainbow of color. And yes, I think I've caught Jane's rainbow -itis. And it was really easy to do. Just in a few simple steps, you can make something really pretty that I know anybody would be absolutely chuffed to receive. So I hope this inspires you to go and grab your Jane supplies and make something for yourself. Catch rainbow artists today. I promise it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> so thank you so much for having me on the blog and on your YouTube channel Spellbinders. I hope you've all learnt something new. And of course, you can see more of my art and grab loads more ideas and techniques over at sparkletart.com or just look for Sparkletart on YouTube or Instagram. You'll find me everywhere. Bye.